I'm asking you to consider letting your mum go with dignity. When do I have to decide? Whenever you're ready. Can I have a moment with her alone, please? She's next of kin, Leah. She's 18, she's an adult. There's no choice. If there was, I'd give it to her. I know, I'm, I'm sorry. She's got you. You too, Cass. And everyone else who loves her. She's gonna need everyone. Yeah. Oh. Did you tell him what's happening? Yes, I did. I'm sorry. Okay, you don't have to be sorry. I can't do it. I can't do this by myself, Where's Brad? He was at the police station. I need to talk to him. Okay, I'll go find him. Okay, will you be all right? You go. I'll take her home. I'll be as fast as I can. Come on, let's take her home. Is that okay? Of course. You get a good night, sweet. Good morning. Brax, where have you been? I've been trying to call you. Sorry, Case, I've been down at the police station. Have they told you what's going on with Charlie? Yeah, well, they told me she made it through surgery. No, it's way more complicated than that. Oh, right, well, let's go. No, listen to me, you need to talk to Ruby. Why? Wait, Case, don't stuff me around. Tell me what's going on with Doctors, you. Doctors, they're saying. They're saying there's nothing more they can do for Charlie. And they've told Ruby she has to make the call about turning off her life support. You can't do this, Ruby. You can't just switch her off. What choice do I have? Well, I don't know. Uh, what about a second opinion? Because these doctors, they don't know everything. Well, can we take her to another hospital? Brax, they've had other doctors in and they've all said the same thing. Yeah, but have you spoken to them? Brax. Have you? No, I didn't, but... Right, so she could still wake up then? No one knows for sure either way. No, Brack, she will not wake up. Ruby, I'm asking you, please. Brax, I know you're upset, but this is only making things worse. No, yeah, not if it saves Charlie's life, it's not. Yeah, but it won't. Can't you understand that? No, I, I, you can't just give up on her like this. I won't let you. Unfortunately, the decision's not up to you, mate. It's Ruby's. She's Charlie's next of kin. Yeah, but I'm... Yeah, Brax, don't, don't do this. Okay, Brax, you know what? A decision doesn't need to be made tonight, and I think we should all just leave it at that. And, and I think you should go. Okay. No, Leah, you have to talk to her, and you have to tell her that it's it's not right. Please, just, just go. I only want to do what's right for Charlie. Go on, mate. Please, Brax. how he feels. Ruby, you know that this is your decision, right? And you'll know what the right thing is to do. Yeah. But what if I can't do it? Yeah, bro, it's me. I um, really would like to talk to you. Um, so can you call me back when you can? Thanks. Your mother will be in this afternoon sometime. She had to do her shopping first. What are you doing? Is that him? The one that bashed you? Hey, don't you walk away from me. Look what you did to my kid. Look, I'm very sorry about that. I 
You could have handled things differently. Yeah, yeah, you could have. Like, realising that your daughter's a liar and maybe you should have given her a hiding instead of Stu. Well, not hard to see where your son gets his conflict resolution skills from. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Doesn't mean anything. I'm tempted to give you a taste of your own medicine, Doc. Show you what it feels like to get a few bones broken. Don't you think there's been enough violence, Mr. Anderson? Yeah, you're not worth it. What are you looking at? Get back to your room. Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah, he's, um, he's angry. It's understandable. Has he been here all night? Can I get you anything? Coffee? I mean, wait. Tried to call Heath again, he wouldn't answer. I, I, don't, I don't care. Casey, okay, just. Okay, just. Leave us alone, will ya? Please.